All right, so this video is gonna be different from anything that we have done on this channel. This is gonna be a tutorial video, basically giving an example of what I do to maximize my profits in the vintage game. I have a fat pile of clothes here that are stained up, ripped up, distressed, faded, everything that I'm going to bring back to life. I'm gonna walk you through this whole process. Now, if you are new to this channel and don't know what we're about or what we do, we're all about the vintage game and maximizing your profits in the vintage game. So this is one example of how to do so. Go back, watch our other videos so you can get an idea of the channel. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. We appreciate all the love, but I'm going to walk you through my process. Now, this is what works for me. This is my process of how to bring stained clothes back to life. All right, so just so you guys don't think I'm just throwing random clean clothes into the wash. I mean, I don't know if you could see that super stained up 90s Atlanta Braves. Being in Jacksonville, this is a huge money maker for us. The Jaguars tees, see stained up all over. We're gonna get that out today though. Another one, this Florida Gators t-shirt, super yellow, yellowing all over the neckline and the pits, kind of nasty, I'm not gonna lie, but that's gonna go away after this soak. I think this might be the most stained up, better piece. Nutmeg, Chicago Bulls, you know, fat stain right there. We're gonna go ahead and get that out. So this is my process on how to do so. All right, so we are at my house right now. And there's gonna be a couple things that you need in order to make this happen. One, something big enough to fit the clothes that you are gonna wash in them. Two, you need dirty clothes. So as you can see, we have a ton of them. And number three, you are going to need cleaning supplies. Now, these are the supplies that I use. I'm sure there's different options, but this is what I use and it's worked every single time I've done it. Number one, you're gonna need OxyClean. Good old OxyClean. Number two, OxyClean spot remover. This is to get out those tough stains and let this soak onto the garment. Number three, bleach for your whites, okay? Only for your whites. And number four, this is like my secret ingredient, secret sauce type of thing, borax. So what this does is just boost the laundry detergent, makes it fight the stains a little bit harder. So those are your four components. Now I will show you the process of what this looks like. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do after you get your bucket filled up, or in my case, a baby pool, is you're gonna take your garment, you're gonna grab your OxyClean stain fighter, and you're gonna sit there and spot treat every single stain on the piece. So. Spray the stain, and then I also have this little scrub brush that I use to kind of just dig deeper into those stains. Don't go too crazy though, because you could distress the cotton on the t-shirt. So be wary of that, but go ahead and fight all those stains. All right, so after you get everything spot treated and put in to your bucket, now it's time to add the detergent, the bleach, and the borax, okay? So when it comes to the detergent, I kind of just eyeball it depending on how many clothes I do have in the pool. Um, for us, this is a brand new, literally a brand new pack of OxyClean. I'm probably going to use about one third of this. It's the big bucket too. So how many ounces is this? It's a five pound bucket. So five pounds of OxyClean. Going to use probably at least two pounds of it. So next is the bleach. Once again, this depends on how many pieces you are trying to wash. I am going to use, it's probably filled up halfway. I'm probably gonna use maybe, I don't know if you could tell. 
like that much. You don't want to douse it in bleach, but you want to use enough to really fight those whites for sure. And last, you got your borax. So this is, like I said, this is like the laundry booster. It's like putting your laundry detergent on steroids. So we're gonna use, this is a full box right here. I'm gonna use half of the box to activate all that OxyClean that I put in there. So half the box going in right now. Okay, last part before we let everything soak, you're gonna have to mix it. So I got this like Swiffer wet jet stick. I don't even know, but it works perfect for mixing all of the clothes and mixing the clothes within the detergent. So now you mix, stir, whatever. And you're gonna do this probably every 20, 30 minutes. And you're gonna let this soak for eight hours. Eight hours, stirring every 20 to 30 minutes. All right, once you have stirred it, it should look like this. So now we wait. The soup, as my mom likes to call it, the t-shirt soup, is going to be sitting for eight hours. Eight hours, all right? Come stir it every 20, 30, 40 minutes, up to you, but give it a good stir every now and then to make that detergent kind of flow through those clothes. You feel me? All right, we'll catch y'all back after this thing has soaked and I will show you next in the process. I also just wanna clarify really quick, not every stain is gonna come out. Some of these stains are deep into the garments, but what this is gonna do is make it better. Fight it a little bit, fade it out a little bit, but not all stains are gonna come out through this process. I'm just giving you a heads up, I'm being completely transparent. There are still gonna be pieces that will have stains on them. However, there will also be pieces in which the stains will completely come out and it will look good as new, okay? And not every piece in here needed spot treatment. Some of them just have yellowing or little bit of distressing like under the armpits or something. They're just in there to get that away. So they'll come out looking brand new. It's the ones that have the big deep stains that sometimes do not go away no matter how much bleach or detergent or how long you soak it, they're in there to stay forever. So forewarning, not every stain is gonna go away. So it is actually the next day. The clothes have been soaking for about 17, 18 hours. I got caught up with some stuff around the house, um, but not that big of a deal. I mean, honestly, the longer the clothes soak, the cleaner they're gonna, they're gonna get. So got no issue with it. But now we move on to the next step. So we gotta get the clothes. Oh. So now we move on to the next step. We gotta get the clothes out of the baby pool out of your bucket, whatever, and then you go ahead and you wash them like a regular load. Obviously, if you have a lot of pieces, you're not gonna be able to throw everything into the washer, so break it up evenly to where you're getting a good solid load, throw a Tide Pod in there, detergent, whatever you got, maybe add a little bit more bleach if it's all whites, but you're gonna wash it like a regular load. There's my mom. Huh? Say hey, mom. Uh Hi. 